Hello everybody, I got everything you see here minus the GPU case and power supply down there from an old Dell pre-built. And I just looked and the keying of this 4 pin and 24 pin actually looks like the same keying as on just normal ATX power supply from today. It's completely possible that Dell was regressed and you, well also the ATX standard hasn't meaningfully changed in around 20, 20 years. So, and this, this CPU under here is uh, Core 2 Duo, whatever, whatever. Things from around 2007. So this very well could work with the standard power supply today. And Dell, let me just say, that's really sad. Your old offering is then way better from an upgradability standpoint than your new offering. Thank you, Dell. We love you. So what I, I want to do is just do this old dirty test bench style. I'm going to pull this motherboard out so I can actually work on it. That's the plan. We got the motherboard out of the case. And um, I, I would test it with that graphics card, but I don't, I'd never tested that yet. And also, I don't have any thermal paste or thermal pads on the GPU itself. So, yeah, I'm going to pass. These RAM modules are from Hynix. These RAM modules are both one gig each, so a total of two gigs. And they're and it's two rank per DIMM. So, um, so 512 megabytes per rank. I mean, not bad for the era. I don't know what RAM this is. Probably DDR2. Maybe? I don't know, I have to look at the serial number. Just looking dirty of the model number upon the RAM module. It appears that these sticks are DDR2. S <laughs> 667 megahertz. Um, so, interesting. I never realized that DDR2 was so slow, but I wasn't around during that, so it makes sense. And these, these sticks are in dual channeled configuration, so I don't have to mess anything here. Taking this very, very, actually quite heavy CPU cooler off. It's from Asus. Um, no heat pipes. It's just, just uses the bare metal conduction of heat to just disperse all of the, all of the heat with this 80 millimeter fan. I mean, pr fan's probably good. Didn't test it, but. And there's our CPU. The E4500 Core 2 Duo. And it marked as 2005, so it's two years off. And also, look at these. Bare inductors. I've never actually seen bare inductors like that on a motherboard. That's very cool, actually. I was given this computer in non-working order. And hey, look, it's a PCI slot. Not PCIe, but PCI slot. You can tell because of the different keying. That's actually very cool. Um, I really hope this motherboard works so I know I can mess around on an old, on a very old platform a bit more. Uh, but yeah, it's only possible that some of these capacitors are uh, dead dead. Um which i don't know what this crust is maybe it's just dust see i don't have enough knowledge nor the equipment to really fix this so i'm just hoping that it works yeah the cpu itself looks fine and before i bend any of the pins because i'm an idiot i am just gonna pull up that cpu in like so and i won't bend any pins hooray wonderful i'm gonna check out the cmos battery and then i'm gonna try to post things but from just a glance, it looks like the keying of the power supply would actually fit on this motherboard, which is very sad, Dell. <laughs> you guys regressed. That's incredible. It's incredibly sad. And also, let me just say, it's very sad. This is the cleanest my desk has been for a while. It's just so much room. It's usually a power supply here. Never realized how much room it took up. Looking online with the model number, hopefully still screened on the motherboard, I was able to look up this is an actual... This is actually an Asus-branded motherboard, and it is... Indeed, manufactured by Asus, and this is an HP OEM motherboard, so this might be not a Dell. I don't know. I would have to show you guys the case. If any of you guys were around during this period, I'd love to for you guys to check this motherboard out and the case to really determine if it's... Yeah, and look, Asus branding is right there. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, you can obviously see it. Asus. Okay. So, yes, this is indeed an Asus manufactured motherboard, so I'm I'm very, very confident that this follows the ATX specs, then, for the 24-pin and the 4-pin for the CPU. So, uh, this doesn't really tell for Dell-branded motherboards. Well, I mean, it's completely possible that during that time, Dell used off-the-shelf, consumer-ish grade motherboards for their pre-built series. Uh, I got the CPU in the socket. I'm gonna replace the CMOS battery. I don't know if that's gonna do anything, but I mean, I might as well if I got a work perfectly good working one in there. Apparently, I don't know if you guys can see it if it focuses. I got a Japan STD by touching this, so uh, ho hopefully there's a cure for that in North America. That would that would really suck if not. CMOS having a CMOS battery shouldn't keep the system from booting. I just want to make sure that it actually boots. Um, and I can go in the BIOS and change settings because I don't have a uh, Windows Vista drive on me. That would be a future project. Um, I, I do have the hard drive actually came in. 
Uh, but I kind of broke it a bit because the person who gave me it really wanted their data to be secure, so I destroyed it for them. So nobody can ever get it. <laughs> well, that kind of sucks then. I think it was a 60 gig Western digital drive, if I am able to remember properly. Um, yeah, 60 gigs. Wow. And also, look, look at the I.O. There's a VG VGA output. That's really, really how old this is. And look, Firewire. And PS2. Wow. I don't have a PS2 keyboard or mouse. Um, so really hope that we can, we in the BIOS, we can just do USB peripherals. Because that'd suck. Uh, but I just really just want to see if this system actually boots at all. Alright, thermal paste, CPU coolers installed. And also the graphics card. Now, I just want to see if the system just spins to life whenever I turn the system on. I gotta figure out what, uh, what these pins are down here, but, uh, it's fine. So, everything's installed. This is gonna be such a mess, I'm so sorry. And, time of truth now, is the keying still there for this very, very old platform? Does it support it still? Oh my god. It just... It clicked into place! <laughs> this is how old a platform? Wow, ATX specs, man. Jeez. Yeah, and I know the CPU one's gonna fit because the keying is the exact thing. Wow, that's just incredible. I can't believe that. Yes, and I'm using the uh, RX... Uh... I forget what this is. <laughs> I forget what this card is called. I'll review it in the future sometime. Um, I just honestly want to see if this system spins to life. Alright, cables installed and everything should be according to order. Uh, I, have a mother I have a keyboard down there too. And let's just see, whenever I short out these two pins, does it... We have power, we have power. Yep, we definitely have power. Does it, does it post, though? Come on. Oh, it turned off. And it turned back on! Is it waiting for a PS2 keyboard or something? Yeah, because it's not posting. I mean, maybe my monitor's just being a bit dumb. Let me just make sure. Hello? OSD. And the system seems to be alive, somewhat. It just... Isn't posting? Is it expecting me to do some thing on the keyboard as it boots up? That is a very whiny CPU fan, let me just say. Okay, I'm, pre I'm pressing delete. Maybe it just doesn't like the USB keyboard? I'm not sure. I'm trying to troubleshoot, but I can't really. I'm gonna switch out this graphics card. Maybe it just died whenever it was in storage. Even though the fan's spinning, doesn't mean that the core's working to send out an image. I... I mean, it's obviously kind of alive if the fan's spinning, and the GPU fan's spinning, so at least this is getting power too. But it's not posting. Whatever this ship down here is getting a bit warm. I don't know if this one's getting warm because the heat sink is so substantial. Yep, there's still no image. Uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna test out the RX 580, give me a second. Okay, I doubt that that really did anything, but I will try once again. PCI device is definitely getting power. If it doesn't post, this is a something else issue that I'm not entirely sure how to troubleshoot today. Maybe it's just, ex yeah, it, it does that. Maybe it's expecting a PS2 keyboard or something. Maybe it wants to post off this, off of analog on the motherboard. I'm not sure what it wants. I mean, it's obviously as signs of life. I mean, CPU fans getting it. This chip down here is getting warm. Is it the CPU maybe? I'm not sure. This is a troubleshooting... This is a troubleshooting step for another time for me. If you guys have, if you guys know anything about this and why it wouldn't be posting, uh, please let me know in the comments below. And yes, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, horrible mess of me trying to use really old hardware. And of course, no hardware really likes me. So we're there. And yes, thank you guys so much for watching. And just have a good rest of your day or nights. Yes, goodbye.